In this video, we're going to talk about how to handle a boat with a single engine. In this case, we've got one engine with a stern drive back there. Now, the first thing you need to know is does your stern drive have one or two propellers? If you have one propeller, normally it's a right handed propeller, it turns to the right. And what that means is that it will throw most of the prop wash off the right hand side of the propeller, so when you're just driving straight, the boat might have a slight tendency to turn to port. Watch. The reverse is also true. When backing up a single screw boat, the stern will tend to turn to port, just like this. If you need to keep that in mind when you're doing your docking operations, you always want to back in like this to port. It's the easiest way to come into a slip. Now on this particular boat, it has a Bravo 3 drive. That means it's got two counter-rotating propellers, and when you drive straight, the boat goes absolutely straight. You don't have any problems with unequal prop thrust. And it's great when backing up. You can back to starboard, back to port, just as easy. That's the big advantage of having a Bravo 3 or counter-rotating propeller drive. When you're preparing to back a single screw boat into a slip, you need to determine right away which is stronger, the current or the wind. In this case, we have almost no water current flowing, but we do have some wind, all right? And as you can see, I'm drifting down that way. The proper way to approach the dock is to back into the current or the wind, whichever is stronger. In this case, it's the wind. So I'm gonna position myself over here and then back into the wind. Okay, I'm in reverse. My nose will be blown down. And you use a combination of wheel and engine to make it docking. Now I know that the wind is going to blow me onto that dock so I don't have to be very close. Just bring it alongside. Stop the forward motion. Tie up. That's all there is to it.